you're not going to like what I'm going to tell you in this video, but you may as well know it. And after I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how to protect yourself from what's about to come. All right, friends, Yossi Kaplan here. I'm your Toronto economist, real estate agent, and uh, mortgage broker at Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Okay, what's going to happen is this. Um, you're looking at the video I just released a couple of days ago, which is my 2022 risk of prediction. You better watch it. It basically explains how the inflation, we're told, um, is way, way lower than the real inflation. So building on that, there's going to be a non-technical video. So it doesn't matter what your skill level is, just listen. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain to you very, very carefully, but clearly and simply what's happening. So there it is. It looks like the chances that we are going to get to a global inflation economic meltdown are very, very high. I'm going to show you what kind of catching my eye here. And it's what people are doing. I'm going to show you exactly. I have all the tabs ready. What's going to happen is if we do get a global meltdown, we're going to get a crazy, crazy inflation. The value of your money is going to shrink very, very rapidly to the point that your money is worth nothing. You'll see the pictures of people running around with money and it's cheaper to burn their money than to buy coal to hit your home. Okay. So I don't know how far it's going to go. If it's going to go, hopefully not, but there's a real risk of massive global inflation. Global because everything's connected. In that case, the value of the currency usually tends to drop down a lot, but other things come up. Real estate may come up because it's a hedge against inflation. You know, it's real assets. Uh, crypto may do the same, dollar not. Um, other assets like gold, silver usually tend to, this is just historically, culturally, we like those assets, the hard assets. Okay, so watch this. Um, I just saw this a couple of days ago. Uh, big tech CEOs are selling the stock at record pace, executive up 30%. Okay, so like, hmm, I wonder what they're selling. And then who are they selling to? Okay. Um, should the investor worry of Microsoft CEO, that's the guy from the last picture, sells 838,000 shares, not dollars, shares, okay? So these people are dumping, 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 dumping all their shares. Now, if you're the CEO of a company and you dump your own company's shares, you sell it, what does it say about you? That you don't, you don't believe that your own company stock's going to go up anymore, right? They're all selling. And who are they selling to? Who's buying these stocks? Well, there's two buyers. One is the company itself will buy it back from the CEO, which basically means the CEO took cash out of his company and sold it back to the company. Now, if that company crashes, all the people investing in the company right now, if you have, you know, $100 Microsoft, $1,000 Microsoft, and that company crashes, you're done, okay? But that CEO took the money out already, okay? Uh, here's another one. Buying the dip is suddenly a more risky business. Why? Because the dip could be endless. It could be dip more and more and more, especially when we such crazy highs. Okay. Uh, here's another one. I'm not going to get, I'm just show you. Uh, hedge funds are liquid at a furious pace. They're hedging. Okay. These people are supposed to hedge against inflation. If they're liquidating, they think those assets they're holding are not going to be worth any more in, in, in soon. Okay. They're selling and retail investors are, are buying it all. That's mom and pop. That's people going on the computer and buying a few stocks here and there. But all together, if you're investing your stuff in the same stock, in the same companies, the top CEOs are selling. Should you do that? Or maybe you should look into another part of investment. Okay. I don't know. Um, okay. Let's keep moving here. If I can move that. Oh, here we are. Okay, um, there's another one, Ponzi. Insiders dump stocks to their own companies at record pace. So, so that's a, not even a week. Okay, and you can see here the value of sales. And you can see traditionally the last two years, just crazy, crazy amount of selling. This is in millions and billions, okay? Um, another view, but you can see it's, it's, it's billions of dollars. This is a over 60 billion dollars and this is this is two weeks ago um sold insider sales so people that are selling the stocks of the companies that they're leading they're dumping the stocks of the companies that they themselves are leading what does that tell you about the company that they're leading to me it tells me 
that they think that stock's not going to be worth that much anymore. Now, I don't know if they're going to think it's going to be worth one cent less, 10% less, or 50% less, but they're selling a lot. And who's buying? <laughs> the retail investors, mom and pop, and also the companies themselves. There's another article that says the companies themselves are, are doing that, okay? The tsunami of insider selling consists of Google founder Larry and Sergey Cosmetics, Ronald Lauder, Walton family. That's the Walmart family. You know this guy is, the Facebook guy, uh, among others. Okay, so they're all selling. They're all selling. Uh, it's just on and on. It just doesn't end, okay? And tech is driving. Tech is driving. Elon, Elon just selling everything. Just nonstop. Um, <clears throat> Who's taking care to the cleaners this time? It's you, okay? Um, you can search my, on Market Beat. Just showing you some of my window. Oh, this is really cool. This site's called Market Beat, and you can go to the uh, Insider Trading right here. This tab, you gotta get like a free account, and you can see here they bought two hundred. Now this is really interesting. This guy uh, started Facebook with uh, what's his name? And he is buying all these stocks. Now, why would you buy your own, your own company stock when the stock is going down? Okay, the price of this stock is going down. You can see it was 135, 128, 100, 160. Okay, so that thing lost half of the value already since November. So why is it, why, why, why? Uh, you can see the insider is selling. And another inside is selling and the CFO is selling, but the CEO is buying, 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 buying. Why is that? Maybe he wants to keep that company afloat. He needs to float that company. Maybe that's what he's doing. Obviously, you wouldn't buy at uh, you wouldn't buy these values if it's gonna crash. You wait, okay? And, and, and it's it's a downtrend. If this stock is downtrend, this doesn't make sense. The only I mean, you tell me in the comments, but to me, it looks like he thinks the company is going to crash. He probably got a bunch of money lying around. Maybe he's selling it back to his company. I'm not sure. Maybe when he's buying, maybe he gets a finance, a loan from the actual company. Okay? I don't know. There he is. And uh, you can see buying, buying, buying. That's that's really interesting. And it's round number. So where is he buying it from? I mean, you don't buy 250 000, 000 from the market. You probably buy from the company itself. And maybe you buy with money from the company. I don't know. It needs to be researched, investigated. But these are large amounts, okay? Pay attention to this. Uh, the other thing is, I forgot to tell you, is the P ratio. So look at the P ratio here. This is Ford, 28.63. This is um, the, the, the ratio to earnings, price to earning. The price of the stock is $20, and it's 28 times the price of the earnings. So if you would pay for this company... Um, if you would buy the stock for a dollar per every dollar they earned, that stock would be worth less than a dollar. It'll be worth 20 divided by 28.63. So the Ford Motor Company is actually worth maybe 80 cents if I only give it PE ratio of one. Okay, but no, it's trading 28 times what it is. Now, let's go to another car company called Tesla. Watch this. The price earning ratio of Tesla is 307. It's trading 307 times the amount of earnings. Not profit, just money coming in, earnings. It's earning that money, okay? What does that tell you? That tells you if I take this 949.21 and divide it by 307, I get about three, three bucks. So Tesla, if the PE was one, would be worth $3. Elon Musk is selling, 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 selling inside trades right here. He's selling because this company is worth 300 times what it is of the P ratio. So you can see Tesla sold just about $4 billion, zero bought. No insider of Tesla bought one single share in this quarter or the quarter before or the quarter before or the quarter before. But here, you know, they're taking some money out. Oh, I'll buy myself a mansion for $100 million, 57. Oh. This is 4,000 million sold, not a single share bought of Tesla. Uh, amount of inside selling, 4.16 billion. Now, if this 4.16 billion divided by 300, 
you get a lot smaller number. So who's buying this? Either Tesla is buying it or they put it on the market. You can actually research it. You can see Elon sell, 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 sell. They're all selling, 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 selling. They're just selling like crazy. Uh, okay, so Elon sold here. This is in dollar, 1.2 billion, and then 800 million, 500, 600 million, 400, ta, 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 selling, 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 selling. And this is just recently. This is all recent, the last 60 days, selling like crazy. And this is now I'm sorting by total transactions, so you can see. But there's other directors. This guy here sold 72 just on this instant. And this Andrew here sold 68 million. This is US. Okay, they're selling like crazy. They're selling like crazy. If you click on a name, it'll give you the name with a nice smiling picture. And then you can sh they can show you here all the sales, the sales by transaction date. So this is uh, yesterday, 16th of December, 2021. And our friend Elon here sold 295,000 shares for 969 a share and got $286 million for it. Um, three days ago, he sold a little more, but he got more per share, 992. This, sell, this stock's going down. He sold 167 million. Um, a week ago, he sold 390, 408. He got a way better deal. So you can see here, he even managed to sell in uh, November 23rd uh, at 1171. That's like, think about it. The average share price is kind of like the PSF for condos, if you will. But each each company is is its own I, I cannot really compare without putting the pe ratio in but without getting too technical this is your share price is very very high so this is and here so for 1171 so he made 800 million here 258 1.235 billion good deal okay <clears throat> here is sold straight so if you saw this round number maybe um a, another company bought it his own company bought it or the, you know a couple companies own uh, blackrock and vanguard they own almost everything these two companies together okay so maybe so to them you can look it up but that's that's the point the point is this person here is selling stock like crazy now he also sold all of his homes he moved to texas from california so i don't know this guy knows everybody obviously knows the world leaders though everyone he gets a very very large perspective um and he only makes twenty three thousand seven hundred sixty uh dollars in 2019 and that's it do you think he paid taxes on that 23760 That's all he made. So he's paying capital gains here, I guess. Uh, I don't know the rules exactly, but here he's definitely not paying any income tax. So these guys are billionaires paying zero income tax and selling their own stock. Now you're paying 10, 15, 50%, 35% on your income. He's paying zero and he's just basically got it. There was nothing, obviously he created the company, good for him. Um, but the fact that these guys are selling so much and such numbers, and you can see they keep selling very, very quickly, and the number is going down and down and down. At the moment that, st that stock crossed the 1100, he started selling like crazy, and he sold one in August, October. Sorry, this is November. November, 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 November. Before that, he didn't do anything, but now November, stock went up, and he's selling like crazy, okay? You can, you, you can click the other guys and see what, what they're, they're doing. Now, his brother, Kimball, also uh, selling a lot. There he is. Okay, so maybe he doesn't have as many stuff, but he's the second uh, large holder of Tesla. And he's selling like crazy too. Okay, maybe a little less, but he's selling. Okay. So, um, oh, Tim Cook. You know this guy, your iPhone guy? What's he doing? He's selling. No, he hasn't sold that much, but you can see that traditionally he sold 265,000 shares uh, these last four or five years. But now he sold almost 10 times that at average, much lower average, but he squeezed $354 million this year. Okay, 354. So that's way more than all the previous years combined. So is his stock going down? And who is buying this stock? Okay. So if you are looking, uh, one of the best things I can do for you is tell you to get some rental guarantees. And this is the second part of the video where I tell you what you can do. If you get rental income, if you get rental guarantee, and it doesn't really matter exactly where, but what matters is that you get the rental guarantee, the money's put aside in the trust account, so you guarantee that 
You can go buy a property and know you're going to make that money. So regardless of market goes up and down, you're guaranteed the money is in the trust account. It's your funds. You get 24 checks in the hand. The first is deposit that check on your phone, I guess. And that's it. You have to go to the bank. Okay. That's what you got to do. If you're not, these are the newsletters I'm sending. If you're not a newsletter, um, go to yossikaplan.com and type it in here. Or go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, links, invest in newsletter. And just go to the invest in new newsletter and just sign here. It's the same one. doesn't matter where you come from. And you start getting these new newsletters from me. Okay. Now, I don't send, if I have good stuff, I'll send you. If I don't, I don't. That's how I do it. I do it manually. I actually craft these emails. And they do, they go to quite a few people. And every time after I send, I'll get a few calls every time. So it's time to invest, my friends. It's time to invest wisely, smartly. I think rental guarantee is probably one of the best ways to protect yourselves. Now, there are not a lot of deals like that because developers don't feel the need to provide these, but some do. Usually it'll be like in the, well, you can find rental guarantee in Hamilton. You can find rental guarantee in Barrie. You can find rental guarantee in Niagara. Some of them will come from the developer. I got a commercial deal right now with a rental guarantee. It's half a million dollar down. If you have half a million dollars to invest with commercial, you get rental guarantee with a guaranteed percent return. Okay. That money will be set aside in the trust account. It's guaranteed. Okay. So you guarantee return your funds and you guarantee um, this deal obviously does not need half a million, way, way less. But if you buy a little bigger, you put half a million down, you get a rental guarantee. You put a hundred thousand, you get a rental guarantee. You put 200,000, you get a rental guarantee. Start thinking about, um, your investments, not so much in terms of real estate. Obviously, that's what you're buying because it's safer. But how can I extract some value out of here? Okay, so give me a call, Yossi Kaplan, 416-993-7653 at Search Realty and Search Mortgage or find me online or send me an email. Thank you very much. I'm here to help you, whatever you need.